First and 10 high school football back in action. One team that's still elite in week 10 is the Grayson County Blue Devils. Sports reporter Eric Johnson is live in Independence for our game of the week. So Eric, some exciting new things down there as they prepare to take on the Maroons. John and Rachel, we have ourselves a classic case of look good, feel good, and when you feel good, you play good. The Blue Devils undefeated so far this season. Their first season playing on this beautiful new turf field that you see here behind me. It was a project two years in the making, involving lots of planning, immense work. We had a pipe that was under the field that had to, we had to deal with. It was collapsing, so it had to go. One that even altered practice plans for the Blue Devils football team. We were having to bus and practice at direct field and it was basically on a 70 by 30 field. The first three weeks were all way. Mm -hmm. So that gave us a little bit of leeway and we didn't get to practice on this until the third, the Wednesday of week two, I believe. But it was well worth the wait as the home of the Blue Devils, now a refreshed haven built for success. And it, it felt great to have it and come out here every day and have a nice field to walk out on. It feels good to have that. It's better than our grass field, I say that. Our grass field was all right. It got kept up pretty good, but you know, it's more room to move. And the football program isn't the only ones making moves on the new surface. The turf made possible through a COVID grant. We didn't do this for football. We did this so we could get our kids outside every day. And that's the one thing we learned from COVID. This uh, money was kind of earmarked for upgrading existing facilities. That's what we got. We uh, used this as a way to increase for our football program, for the PE classes. You'll see Navy JROTC out here. You'll see fundraisers, the rec department. This field is being used all the time. While Grayson County continues to find its footing, flexing an 8-0 record, the hope is that this is a new foundation for not just wins on Friday nights, but winning at life. We deserve the best. You know, I might be a little biased, but I think we deserve the best around here. As you would imagine, there's now a renewed sense of pride that comes along with this new turf, protecting this house, protecting this turf. That's what the Blue Devils want to do tonight. It'll be a tough challenge. George With coming to the town, coming up on 10 Sports at 6. More on tonight's matchup.